I'm so glad you found me. Come on in. I am so glad you guys could join me today. So we've got a great show. It's our first show ever, and we've got a great show. We're gonna read a book today, really fun book. We're actually gonna make a craft. I've got my craft supplies here, and I'm gonna show you, how, we're gonna show you how to make those. I have a friend coming to show me, and, and to show you. And then we're gonna actually spend some time out on the farm learning about some of the animals that are out there and that we have and giving you some animal facts. Are you, are you guys seeing, am I, is there something a little bit behind me, not behind me, but to the side, I'm seeing something out, there it is, okay. I don't want to turn, turn too quick because I don't want to spook them, but I'm going to try and slowly turn and see if I can see what's going on, so stay, stay patient. Gertie, look who it is, guys. It's it's Gertie the donkey. And oh, oh my gosh. And Celia, our alpaca. I'm so glad you guys came here today. We have a great story today about a unicorn and a goat. And you like guys okay with that? It's not a story about you, it's a story about a goat. Is that okay? Oh, I love you guys. I'm gonna give them a little kiss. I love these guys. Oh, Gertie. And Ce Celia, oh, you don't like, Celia doesn't like me getting too close. So I'll just say hello, Celia, how are you? Good, thank you so much. All right, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with our book. It is called A Unicorn Named Sparkle by Amy Young. You guys excited? Awesome. The ad said, Unicorn, 25 cents. Lucy sent in the money. She could hardly wait. I will name him Sparkle. He will be blue with a pink tail and a pink mane. A whole day passed. I will put flowers around his neck. He will let me ride on his back. Another day passed. Oh, I will take him to show and tell everyone will love him. He might be scared when he first gets here. I will give him a cupcake. Sparkle, sparkle, where are you? Bah. Finally, a big truck rumbled up. It was the unicorn man. He left a large box on the porch. Oh, it's sparkle. Lucy opened the box carefully, gently. Jump! The cupcake was gone. A sparkle, come back. Oh, sparkle, no, not the underpants. No, sparkle, no. He was not what she expected. He had spots. His ears were too long. He smelled funny. Oh, and he had fleas. Lucy put a flower necklace on him. He ate it. She put a tutu on it. He ate that too. He did not want to be ridden. He bucked her right off. He did not want to go to show and tell. Ba ba ba! And when he got there, he behaved poorly. Lucy was mad. You are a bad unicorn. She walked away. Sparkle followed her. Now stop that, Sparkle, stop it. Lucy called the unicorn man. Take him back, I don't want him. Okay, but I can't be there until tomorrow. Lucy could hardly wait. Leave me alone. Yuck, yuck, stop licking me. Wah, wah. That night there was a storm. Sparkle was afraid. Lucy gave him Bear Bear so he would stop pestering her. It wasn't enough. She had to read him a bedtime story too and give him warm milk to drink. He licked her hand. She patted his head and said, Don't be such a big baby. His fur was very soft. At last he fell asleep. The next morning, Lucy watched Sparkle play in the yard. He liked the butterflies and they liked him. Some boys came by and asked, oh, What's your goat's name? His name is Sparkle and he's not a goat. Oh, he looks like a goat. Well, he's not a goat. He's a special kind of unicorn. After the boys left, Lucy watched Sparkle play some more. 
she had to admit sometimes he made her smile and sometimes he made her laugh. The unicorn man drove up. Okay, let's load him in. Sparkle did not want to get in the box. Lucy put a cupcake in the far corner. Sparkle loved cupcakes, so he went in. Lucy shut the door. Sparkle asked, Meh! The unicorn man revved the engine and drove away. Lucy yelled, Wait, wait! Sparkle bleated, Bleh, bleh! The truck stopped. Lucy opened the box and Sparkle jumped out. He was so excited that he knocked her down by mistake. A sparkle, said Lucy. Welcome home. Hello, welcome back. I'm with Mrs. McGee, our craft expert. She is going to show us, uh, you're going to show us how to make a goat, goat face. A goat face today. Yay. And I'm going to try to learn how to make goat face. What do you think? Gertie, should we make a goat face? Okay. It could be a mask too. Oh, put it on your face. Would you cut out the uh, the eye? Would you cut out holes? Well, if you don't want to bump into things, I yeah, would, you probably I would do that. Okay. That's a good, good, That's point. good thing. Good point. And look, and it could be. Oh, Gertrude, do you like it? You could. You could be a goat maybe and dress Ooh, up. Gertie, would you like to be a goat? We could do, oh, no, no. no, you want to stay a donkey? She likes being a donkey, okay. okay. Maybe next week we'll do a craft about a donkey. I think that'd okay. be great, Gertie would like that. Okay, would like that. so fun part about this craft is you only need one paper plate. I, so I get one. You get one and I'll get one. Okay, okay Mr. McGee. Now, oops, I have two. Are there other, other are there other <laughs> supplies you need? Yes, for this craft you should get a marker. I have my marker here. Okay, and a pair of scissors. I have a pair of scissors here. Excellent, and some tape. Oh, I don't have tape. Can I, I have borrow? tape, and I even broke off pieces oh, for you already. Oh, thank you. Because that's a good way to do a craft. Thank you. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your marker next to you, and then. We want to make this fun shape for the goat craft so we can put his fun beard at the bottom and his horns on the top. So. I'm working on growing a beard. It looks very nice, Mr. McGee. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, All right. you have your pair of scissors? I do. Okay. okay. So you're going to cut and you're going to keep it thinner at the bottom and wider at the top. So it's going to go like this. Like that. And let's do it again on the other, other side. side. Yeah. So thinner at the bottom and then wider at the top. Mm -hmm. Because people too, we have wider foreheads and smaller chins. Just like our goats and our donkeys. Now take your scissors okay. and you're going to cut the beard. All goats grow beards. Girl goats and boy goats. Okay. So can you see how I'm cutting how? it? Oh, yours? How did you oh. get that to be like that? Mine didn't do that. Oh, well, what I did is I bent it. So you, I just take a couple and I bend some up and some down. Oh, interesting. So it looks like the beard is well, that does in look the like, breeze. Oh, I like that. Do you like it? Yeah, let me try. And what I like is everybody's is have to look the same. No. Oh. They're all going to be different. Yeah, look at that. Very fun. Okay, you know what I want to do next? Face. Yes. Okay. So let's put our goat on the table. Now, on our practice goat, goats have how many eyes? Two. two. Just like donkey has two. Okay. One, two. Okay, one. How many eyes do you have? I believe two. You're yeah, right. I have four. <laughs> <laughs> but teachers always have two in the front and two, two in the back. back. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to draw on... Oh, this side. There's two Actually, it could be either side. It could be either side. Oh, well, okay. I'm going to draw mine on this side. Okay, I'll draw it on the side. We'll see if they'll both turn out. Okay. Okay? So I'm going to draw one eye. And I like to make a big oval for the eye. Oh, I make kind of a circle. That's good, too. And then all eyes have pupils. Oh! <gasps> 
but goats have different kinds of pupils than people pupils. Yes. What kind of pupils do they have? They we have, have round right, ones. Yeah, they have rectangle pupils. Oh, do I'm going to do dogs? mine rectangle. You can do yours as a circle, but I'm going to okay. do mine as a rectangle. Mm -hmm. Now, they have long noses, which is why we have the long paper plates, just like Gertrude. So I'm going to put a nose like that on mine. Interesting shape. It's like a line yeah. down. And they curved. don't really have people noses. So now, from that pointed part right here, that's the end of his nose. You're gonna go down, and you're gonna make lips. Like oh, that one. See that? I see. Okay. okay. So mm -hmm. we're gonna go straight down, and then I want to have a big smile on my goat. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, now I see. Happy goats! Aww! Well, now you can put the cap on our marker and you're going to take the pieces so of the paper plate. Don't throw these out. No, you're going to use every piece. Yeah. Now, with these pieces, we're going to do two fun parts of our goat. What's really neat is lots and lots of goats have long, floppy ears, but hmm. Mr. McGee's goats don't. No, they don't. I'll make big ears for my goat. Would you like to make little ears for your goat? Yes, I'd okay. like to make little ears. Okay, well, to make the ears, it's really easy. Take a piece of your plate that you cut off from there, remember? You're going to just cut it in half. Okay. Like that. You can do that. Set, and boom. Now we have two pieces. Now we have two pieces, right? But what are you going to do? Are you going to make them smaller? Because I'll keep my big ears. Well, how would I make them smaller? Right, just cut it again. That's what I would again, do. You think? Yeah. Like this? No. I'll have big ears on my goat. And oh, what are you gonna have? Oh! You think that's? I think that's perfect. Just like that. But, Mrs. McGee. What? The? Oh. Stay on. Do we need glue? That's where you're gonna get the tape. Ah. And you can use glue, but I had some of this really cool red tape, and it's really sticky. And for f keeping us moving forward, I already cut it into little pieces. So okay. here's a piece for you to attach your ear. And you're going to want to attach the front it. Side ah. For color? Well, I'm like attaching my ears on the back. And then I'll tape it. <gasps> Are you ready for the big reveal? All right. <gasps> Ta da! Ta da! Our goats look so nice! And it would be really fun to color them different colors. Goats come in all different colors. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Gertrude? Do you like it? Well, thank you thank for having you. me today, Thank you Mr. for McGee. coming. And now we're going to throw it to our person in the field, Jackie, with some goat facts. Nah. Bye. Bye. Welcome to the farm. I am Jackie and I will be your field reporter. Today I would like to introduce some of our goat friends. This is Maverick and this is Goose and they are La Mancha goats. Fun fact, goat eyes, if you look closely to their pupils, they're rectangular. And we have circle ones. Every goat eating is unique and they use it to communicate with each other. Last but not least, you can train goats just like you can train dogs. Wow, some great facts about goats. I hope you learned something about Maverick and Goose today, and thank you for coming out to the farm. Don't forget to bring home your crap. See you later. Sounded more like an alien than a goat. Anyway, see you next week. Um,